and so it really comes to the question at what price you can buy the hardware, at what price you would have to rent the premises, and it also uh, probably the most significant factor now is uh, what is the price of electricity at your place. Oh yes, yes, that's for sure. And there is a, well, it's very, it, it can differ a lot. So for example, in, in Europe, the prices are quite high. For example, at some places in Russia, it can be as low as four cents per kilowatt hour. I think actually Ukraine is very similar to the Probably four or five Ukraine, cents. Yes. Uh, Iceland, Norway, Scandinavian countries in general, uh, they've got quite cheap uh, electricity. But obviously it, it all comes to the point whether you can get this cheap electricity or not. Whether you can um, rent the premises at that place, whether you can, uh, how easily you could transfer the hardware to this point, how secure would it be, because you would need to uh, maintain it, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think another crucial point is that the warranty for your GPU cars is quite important as well. So even though you can manage to get the very cheap one, you still need to think about the warranty. Just because if it burns out in two to six months, you will have to replace it somehow. And this is additional investment, obviously. Absolutely. Yes. And if we speak about mining at a scale, you probably would look at a, at a different type of miners, which are ASIC miners. They're mostly targeted at mining Bitcoin or Litecoin or whatever. And um, now it really differs a lot. For example, with the GPU miners, you, you have to set it all up. You have to configure the software. You have to uh, solve quite a few issues. And if you're mining at a scale, for example, with the GPU cards, then it's going to be really a headache because you would have to uh, like control all, all the stuff. There are quite a few uh, software um, actually operating systems right now that can allow you to, uh, to ease the, the whole process. But still with the ASICs, it's uh, more convenient. You can do mining with, uh, I don't know, thousand ASICs and it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, the software comes with it because uh, basically the, the whole ASIC, uh, the whole idea of ASIC is to well, just mine Bitcoin, is it? Just, just to focus, it, to, focus. To, to make the whole process uh, simpler. Yes, just to focus on that one and, and simplify the process. But ISIC would be much more expensive, I assume, in comparison to GPU cards and GPU mining rig, is it? Well, again, it depends. So uh, at this point, uh, we're speaking about the cost of hardware that you would buy. Yeah. And now it also really matters what is the price of the cryptocurrencies uh, that you would mine, right? Yes, that's an important factor. So there's always have to be a balance and at every single point in time you, you have to calculate and really to understand, to compare the, the methods and um, to answer the question for yourself whether it's uh, more profitable at this point to do one or another way of mining. But again, the days when you could reach the uh, break-even point of your investment with the mining in in few months is gone now so you have to forecast a little bit uh, what is going to be the price of Bitcoin let's say in one year or so what's going to be with the, with the price of electricity whether your hardware is still going to work in one year so you have to take care uh, about all the aspects well this, proje this. this projection is not easy to to make especially one year in future Um, is there any um, websites which allow me to, to see whether I'm going to be profitable right now at this particular moment? Yes, uh, there are quite a few websites that uh, allow you to compare with which hardware, mining which cryptocurrencies, at uh, specified cost of electricity at your place, uh, which currencies is going to be uh, more profitable for you. You can also compare it with ASICs. Mm -hmm. So if you're a, a small miner, uh, a consumer, you really should do it, or at least to have the projections and to understand for yourself whether that's uh, a profitable investment or not. Okay, so I'm setting everything up. I'm selecting either the GPU mining rig so I can mine altcoins like Ethereum, or I'm selecting the ASIC one, which is mining Bitcoin, and my initial investment is done. I put up the operating system, I start uh, earning this reward, I will get the reward to my um, wallet. What should I do next? Is there, is there a way or is it just you, as soon as you receive the cryptocurrency, you should sell it? 
uh, on a market price and then repay the bills for your electricity and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, as you mentioned, uh, it totally depends on the price of the cryptocurrency at this particular moment. So you will have an option of either uh, holding it for a certain period of time or you have an option of um, do something with it, like, for example, sell it straight away or sell a portion of it to pay the bills. What, what are your views on that? Absolutely. So uh, as a miner, you would have uh, a number of running costs yep. that you would have to cover every single month. And uh, that's really a question. So, for example, if you can afford to not sell the cryptocurrencies and to hold it for some time, then you would build a projection whether the cryptocurrency would, would increase in value whether the price would go up. And probably if your forecast says that the, the price of your cryptocurrency will uh, go up in the next month, then probably you should pay the running costs with the existing cash that you would have. I think there's another good strategy in case if it's not possible. You can accumulate more of your cryptocurrency that you mined through, for example, trading. So trading on the exchanges, which are plenty right now. And um, what you can do is actually start trading with the cryptocurrency and trying to accumulate more of what you already mined. Mm -hmm.